Hello, my name is James Davis, and I'm a sales engineer here at SolarWinds. In this guided product tour, I will review key aspects of the Database Performance Analyzer's VM option. The VM option reduces the risk of moving databases to VMware, and also helps you maximize performance once virtualized. Running databases on top of VMware creates a number of challenges. When a database is running on a physical server, there is a clear view of what is happening at the various levels such as the operating system, the physical host, and the storage layer. The layers below the database rarely change. Things are very different when a database is running on VMware. First, another layer is involved, the virtual machine. Second, there is no longer visibility to many of the lower layers. OS statistics can be seen, but VMware tells us that they are not accurate. The only way to get accurate OS statistics is from the hypervisor, not the OS. In a virtual environment, the lower levels change frequently. For example, the memory and CPU of the virtual machine are often changed. And even the number of virtual machines running on the physical host varies. Think of VMware like a curtain that is hiding the lower layers. If you can't see the layers where frequent changes occur, it can be tough to see problems. Let's look at DPA's VM option to see how it shows all the layers on a single screen. Notice the layer descriptions on the left side. The top layer shows metrics related to database response time. The OS layer shows database health metrics such as the amount of CPU being used by the database instance. The VM layer shows metrics for the virtualized operating system, such as Windows, as well as VMware-specific metrics related to the virtual machine or VM. The physical layer represents what is happening on the actual machine. Its statistics represent the activity from all the VMs that are running on it. Finally, we see the layer that shows storage details, like SAN, NAS, and or DAS. The trick is to look for correlation between the layers. If you see a spike on one layer, are there corresponding spikes on other layers? Notice the spikes in this example. Which layer caused the spike? Which layers were just affected by it? DPA's VM option shows changes with a small down arrow. By hovering over these arrows, we can identify virtual events which may have impacted performance. In this example, the CPU level in the physical box spiked and caused problems for the other layers. Problems can start at any layer and affect the others. Notice that the VM CPU ready time metric spikes at the same time in the VM layer. Over here, you can see there is a red critical icon. Click to see more details. The details provide a definition and solutions. This chart shows data for this metric with thresholds. From here, you can pinpoint the root cause of the performance degradation. These features eliminate finger pointing between DBAs, virtual, system, and storage administrators by providing a single version of the truth. Everyone can see the effect VMware configuration and events like vMotion have on database response time. See how DPA's multi-dimensional performance analysis can benefit you. Download a free trial at solarwinds.com slash DPA.